The Green Party formally nominated Dr. Jill Stein as its candidate for President of the United States at the party's nominating convention in downtown Baltimore Saturday. Stein proposes an emergency Green New Deal for America to help get the nation's economy on track and restructure the economic system. She says her plan stands in sharp contrast to her opponents. FSRN's Michael Lawson has more. Jill Stein will be the next president of the United States of America. Before a cheering crowd of party faithful, Dr. Jill Stein of Massachusetts said her experiences as a medical doctor in a broken health care system encouraged her to enter politics. I now say that I'm practicing political medicine because it's the mother of all illnesses and we got to fix this one to fix everything else that ails us. Stein had harsh criticisms for both her Republican and Democratic opponents, calling a vote for her a vote for real change. Unlike both major parties, the Green Party accepts no corporate donations. Stein says corporations are already given too much power in the political system. Voting for either Wall Street candidate, for Mitt Romney or for Barack Obama, gives a mandate for four more years of corporate rule. Every vote they receive is an endorsement of the deadly trajectory that we are on for the American people and the planet. Stein and her running mate, anti-poverty advocate Sherry Honkla, are offering a Green New Deal that they say is inspired by New Deal policies instituted by President Franklin Roosevelt during the Great Depression. The plan would create 16 million new direct jobs and 8 million more indirect jobs in the private sector by transitioning the economy to one based on ecologically sustainable ideas. Stein also calls for restructuring the unemployment system with federally funded yet locally based worker cooperatives and public sector job banks, a system she says will end unemployment in America. Instead of going down to the unemployment office, you can just go down to the employment office and get the job you need. The Employment Act of 1946 attempted to establish full employment as an American right. The Federal Reserve Bank is also mandated to promote full employment. But economic policies over the past 30 years have not resulted in jobs for everyone. Economist Max Wolf, a professor in the International Affairs Program of the New School in New York, admits the term full employment is jargon based on forecasts and targets of policymakers. He said some unemployment is also desired by some policymakers and businesses. If you want to control benefits, benefit costs, salaries and wages, salary and wages costs, nothing kind of is as effective to control demands for higher benefits, better working conditions, higher wages, than the presence of the lar- a large pool of unemployed folks. For the housing boom and bust that led to the economic downturn, the Green New Deal proposes an immediate moratorium on foreclosures. Additionally, through cutting military spending of 50 percent, the plan would invest in affordable housing, with a target of ensuring a cap of spending 25 percent of income on housing. Wolf says the housing market, a continued drag on economic recovery, is one place where innovative policymaking has been lacking. We don't hear bold and interesting solutions. We haven't tried a major policy. We just keep kind of making it cheaper to borrow money, hoping the economy recovers, and looking forward to a time when this problem is no longer with us. Stein's running mate Sherry Honkla has long advocated for the right to decent housing. She recounted her own lack of options after losing the car she and her son lived in to a drunk driver. Occupy a heated, abandoned house or risk freezing to death on the streets of America. I chose to live and I chose to keep my son alive. Stein and Hankla have qualified to be on the ballot in 21 states and hope to double that by Election Day. They'll need the help of volunteers to meet a variety of state petitioning deadlines. Michael Lawson, FSRN, Baltimore. To listen to the full speeches by Green Party presidential candidates Jill Stein and Sherry Honkala, go to our website, fsrn.org.